Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online resource for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the following few minutes, you will see some very short examples of the Solid Edge Fundamentals training material. The complete series of training material is available to members of Solid Mastermind. This next preview is part of the second part modeling session and shows how to use the RIB and web network features. The RIB feature can be found in the Solids group on the home ribbon under the thin wall drop down. The first step is to select a plane to draw the RIB profile on. Notice that the default option here is parallel plane. This is because invariably RIBs are drawn on an offset plane and then projected back down onto the part. If this option needs to be changed, simply select the appropriate local plane option. In our case, parallel plane will do just fine. Then we'll select the top inside face and bring the plane up to the midpoint of this edge. Then we'll draw an appropriate profile for the rib. This can either be open or closed. If the profile is left open, as in our case here, the rib feature can be set to extend the open ends if required. Once the sketch is closed, the thickness can be defined in the command bar along with a few other options. We'll leave these set to default for now, but set the thickness to 8. Next we need to define the direction of the rib. This can be one of four options, which are defined simply by moving the mouse. Notice how Solid Edge provides feedback of the valid options by previewing the feature. We'll place our rib in the downward direction. Since we went with the defaults, we have a rib that extends fully into the part in the direction we chose, and also extends into the part at the open ends of the profile. The rib can be set to not extend the profile by going back to the direction step and choosing the no extend option. Another option is to create a finite depth rib. This is controlled once again under the direction step. We'll set the profile to extend and choose the finite depth option before entering a value of 20 for the depth. The rib must intercept the part at some point. This is why we needed to choose the extend option. Without it set, the rib would not have intersected the part and would fail. We'll create one more slightly different rib and choose the side face and offset it into the part by 30 millimeters. Remember to hit enter after typing a value. Now we'll draw another open profile consisting of a line, then switching to an arc, and then another line again. Once done, we can close the sketch. Define a thickness of 10 and choose the direction. Once again, Solid Edge previews the valid solutions. Again, we'll place the rib downwards. Notice how the thickness has been defined equally spaced around the profile. If we want to change this, simply hit the sidestep option in the command bar and identify the side of the profile to add the thickness.